Alrighty boys, welcome back to the channel. So before we get too far into the video, I do have a quick question for you guys. What are some of your favorite Nintendo DS games to play? Keep in mind, I'm more into like platform and action adventure games. I'm not really that big on RPG type games. Yes, I know, let the hate comments flow down in the comments. I don't like RPG games. But let's hop straight into the video because it's it's gonna take a little while for me to explain everything now if you guys do want to come follow me over on twitch i do plan on playing more super nintendo nintendo ds gamecube and all of that sort of stuff with you guys over on my twitch channel but straight off of the back you are going to need some sort of a file unzipper whether it be 7-zip winrar whatever it is you are going to need to extract the emulator itself you're not going to have to extract the ROMs, which are the files that you're going to be using to play the games on this emulator. Now, I am going to show you the settings inside of the emulator on how you can play games at 1080p, 60 frames per second. You do have the ability to play it at 4K, but I mean, I have a GTX 1080 and an i7-6700K, and even then, it bogs my computer out, so... You're going to need like one hell of a beastly computer in order to play games at 4K. But obviously I will include all of the links for this down in the description below for you guys. Keep in mind these builds right here. These are builds that are created from the community. So they're not going to be perfect. You're probably going to get some errors when you're playing games. And there may be ROMs that don't work on them these nightly builds right here these are the ones that are published from the developers themselves with everything that's updated and they're working properly now the community is always working on this so there are going to be updates so just keep in mind when i give you this link just remember to check back every couple of months because there may be an update with some sort of a new feature now when you're updating these make sure that you download the one correct for your system whether it be 32-bit 64-bit or if you have a mac you do have the ability to play these on a laptop obviously but this was the website that i've been the, this website is really good for super nintendo sega genesis basically the really older retro roms but they don't have a lot of the newer roms so this is the website that i've been using in order to go get this website right here has pretty much every single rom that you're gonna want and you know i just want to show you guys really quick that your computer is not going to be infected because don't i i totally understand why people get worried about this because i mean i have a three thousand dollar computer so uh, Mega Man ZX, this is a good one. I've only downloaded a few ROMs, the new Super Mario Bros, Mega Man, and then the Donkey Kong Jungle Climb Zip. Now it does take 10 seconds to download the ROM from the website, so it's not as fast as this one. This one's just like a one-click thing. Um, but I was watching videos and people said that this website right here was perfectly safe to go ahead and do all of this stuff. Now we're just going to wait for it to download. Obviously these files are going to start adding up. So I've already used this emulator and tinkered around with the settings for a couple of hours. And after working around everything, now you're not going to have to unzip. But when you download the emulator itself, just it'll say the emulator name and then just extract to Mega Man ZX US. And then it'll do that for the emulator. You are going to have to do that for the emulator itself. For the ROMs, you don't have to do you don't have to do that because the emulator does all of that stuff itself. I'm just going to go ahead and move this over to my Nintendo DS ROMs because like I said, or I haven't mentioned that yet. I've restarted the video a couple times because I messed up. But once you select the spot that you want to load the rom from you it the emulator itself will end up remembering it so the emulator once you extract it this is the file that you're going to want to open 
Now, I don't know if I'm gonna have to reset everything. This is just the computer doing its stuff. That FPS right there will not be on your screen when you first download it. Do the normal emulator. I just had it full screen because it was, I'm gonna show you guys the difference with the settings and stuff. All right, so if we load a ROM, uh, keep in mind that I'm not going to be recording the game audio for copyright issues. And Alrighty boys, changing plans because Mega Man was taking absolutely forever. Keep in mind what you're seeing right now is a little bit of a buff for the game. Now I'm gonna sh show you guys very, very quickly one bug that ends up happening with this emulator. Now if you only have one monitor, it's going to make it small. But if you have three, like I do, sometimes it will like put it on every single one of your monitors. All you need to do is drag it up depending on what type of computer you have and it'll automatically go back. Now as you can see Mario looks very very good right now. It's not laggy, it's not skipping, it's not doing anything. So what I did in order to make this look better, there are a couple of other options that I'm going to show you. But it's going to end up lagging out your computer a lot. It does it with me. If you would like to see all of my computer specs, they are down in the description for you guys. Like I said, I have an i7 6700K and a 1080 Ti. So all I do in order to make this emulator look better, this is what it's going to be set at. It's going to every it's going to be set at soft razor your GPU scaling will be at one this will be unchecked and that's what everything is going to end up looking like and this is what it looks like before you buff all of the stuff as you can see Mario is very very blurry and it's just not it's not enjoyable to play on a big screen like this so in order to do this all you have to do you can select soft razor and up everything and it looks it looks better than that at least that bug is so annoying like you can see right now it's running at 60 frames per second about 50 percent so it looks good it looks fine i have a graphics card a dedicated graphics card so that is why i have that selected because i use a cpu to record and stream so the OpenGL is your graphics card. Now, this is, that is so annoying. <laughs> I may just set it if it does it again. Okay, so these are what's going to bog out your computer. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong or what, but like if I go to 5XBRZ, you see how it, it looks great if I stand still, but you see how laggy it is? I just, I don't like that. So I just keep this on normal. There's other, I don't know what kind of computer you'll have to have in order to make this like work properly, but I don't see that much of a difference in this. So I just keep it at normal because it makes the game run better as you guys can see it's much smoother and i'm a pc fanatic and i like frame rate way more than i do what it looks like when you're not really moving around that much now like i said these are all you really only need to worry about the emulation settings and 3d settings but if you put the settings that i have and your computer isn't running it that well what you can do that bug is so annoying is this frame skip right here if you like put the frame skip it's probably gonna look bad at nine. Oh. basically what that is is every like every nine frames it's only gonna show one but i mean if you're running it at 60 frames per second you know, it's not that big of a deal, but I just keep it. My computer can handle it. So I just keep it at zero. All you need to do to make it look good 
is the emulation setting if you guys want to go ahead and take a screenshot and make sure you have everything selected that I have you can go ahead and use the CPU emulation if you don't have a dedicated graphics card so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the video remember to support the video with a thumbs up if you did maybe share it with a friend if uh, you know it helped you and you want to you know let your friends know about this and that sort of stuff so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed remember to throw a thumbs up if you did subscribe if you haven't already and I'll catch you guys in the next one peace